If there's any light you can shed on what we might be experiencing, we hear that there could be some tax uh, increases on the way. We all know that there's a multi-billion pound black hole, financial black hole that has to be filled. What might we be hearing later this month? Well, look, you're obviously referring to the autumn statement, which is due on the 17th of November. So across government, there are obviously going to be some very difficult decisions that are going to be taken. Tax decisions will obviously be taken by uh, the Chancellor in consultation with the Prime Minister. Uh, Secretaries of State across government like me are looking at our spending plans. We are going to have to make tough decisions and it's important because we've got to set out a credible set of fiscal plans so that the markets have confidence. And why that's important is that will help bear down on inflation. Uh, Inflation remains the number one uh, economic challenge. And that will also mean that interest rates will then be able to stay lower than they otherwise would, which is obviously very important for people listening to this show who have mortgages. So I expect a a fiscally credible statement to be set out by the Chancellor, uh, but obviously it wouldn't be right for me to speculate on the contents of that today. Can you speculate on the front page of one of the newspapers today? The NHS wants an extra £7 billion to tackle backlogs. Are they going to get it? Well, look, the NHS uh, is a priority for the government. The Prime Minister's always said that we will put the NHS at the top of our list of priorities and clearly that will be borne in mind when we're making these decisions. It wouldn't be right for me to speculate now on the exact settlement but the NHS remains a priority for the Conservative Party and for the Prime Minister. Uh, It has been in the past and it will continue to be in the future. Last couple of questions.